Hey you guys, are you looking for the big commerce most popular products feed on your homepage? Let's talk about that today. Uh, before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer on big commerce as well as a store owner just like you. And um, let me share my screen and let's talk about most popular products. Now I'm going to go into the code here for Cornerstone Clean just to show you guys that when you get your uh, when you get your store, when you get your Cornerstone set up, assuming that you're going to be on Cornerstone, there are three feeds here on your homepage. The featured products feed, the top sellers feed, and then the new products feed. And what we're going to talk about today is basically what BigCommerce calls top sellers, uh, usually is referred to as most popular products on most people's websites. Uh, but there are basically three feeds here that are built to show up on your store and if i click into the customizer and click on the little theme styles uh art palette looking thing this is a uh, base cornerstone i haven't done anything to it and you can see that featured products are showing here and new products are showing here um, if i go to the home page tab and scroll down to the products though you can see it says number of featured products four number of most popular products four again that's the top sellers feed and number of new products also four so if they're all set to sell if they're all set to show why aren't they showing on my theme and the answer is this is not a live store I haven't actually sold any product on this store because this is just a sandbox I use to show you guys in these videos so I have not sold a single product even though I have products loaded in here so if if all of them have sold exactly zero times there is no top seller yet as soon as I sold one item through here even if it was a test purchase then it would actually become the top seller in my store and then it would show up so if you guys are not seeing it on your store and you're wondering why that's why it is um, if you are seeing it on your store you can you know, use these settings in here to, to change the number of um, the number of top sellers that show. But, you know, something to know is that while you can have top sellers stream in here, it's literally going to pull the top sellers, the, the top sellers most popular, whatever you want to call it. You have no control over which ones that is. So if you, uh, you know, if you're selling cars but your top seller is a replacement doorknob then you're gonna you're just gonna say your top seller is a doorknob you know you have no control over it um because <clears throat> it's literally just the top sellers and so you know there's pros and cons the, the pro of using it is it's there automatically you don't have to do anything it's there you know um the con is you don't control it at all but one thing you could do is consider not using it at all and coming in here to the uh, customizer and using this product set widget to pick out the products that you want to say are your top sellers and I don't care if they are your top sellers or not but you can just come in here and you know pick out uh, you know pick out a couple products and be like here's my you know here's my top sellers right just gonna pick out one more so here are my top sellers like who's gonna know and then I can come in here and either choose the text widget or get my uh, header widget from page builder widgets my app I like this a little bit better because I can make this be an h2 and all I gotta do is say most popular you know or whatever and then make that an h2 um, <clears throat> Or top sellers so this is kind of nicer because now I have full control over what I present to the world as my top sellers and really what we're trying to do here is uh, get people to buy them you know so it doesn't really matter to me which ones are actually my top sellers what matters to me is what I what I'm showing people you know because I'm trying to get them to buy so that's a little bit about the popular products hopefully that explains why they may not be showing up in your store Hopefully you understand now that, you know, if you're trying to control which ones show up there, you know that you don't. And so you might just use the uh, the widgets method instead. Hope you guys do. Check out my widget, Page Builder Widgets in the, in the BigCommerce App Store. Gives you lots of extra widgets like this heading. 
and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are stuck on. I, you know, I'm making these videos to help you guys out. I've been doing this for so long, trying to give back. So let me know what you guys are stuck on. And if you need help with your store, reach out to me at Epic Design Labs. Love to hear from you. See you in the next one.